very good morning friends myself professor m h chennai and in today's video we have a problem on the development of a triangular pyramid which has got base at the measuring 30 mm and height equal to 60 mm rest on hp on its base so it is resting on hp on its base with one of the base it just normal to v3 so let us keep it on hp with one of the side vertical that is perpendicular to vp obtain the top and front views of the pyramid so friends i am going to obtain the top view an equilateral triangle of side 30 mm locate its center by bisecting any two adjacent sides this is our o we will join this o to all the corners that is a b and c so i'll join this to all that is o to a o to b and o to c this is how the pyramid looks in the top view let us obtain the corresponding front view by writing vertical lines to this a b and c so this is going to be a dash b dash and this is c dash from this o we will draw a vertical line and on the line we will locate the axis and this axis of the height is given to be 60 mm so i just mark a line so mo dash and show this distance of the height of the pyramid as 60 mm and we have to join all this to the vertex so i'm going to join o to a o to b then o to c so we have got all the corners joined to the vertex and here this is o1 the center of the base and the axis is perpendicular to hp in the top view you see the axis as a point o comma o1 friend this is how the pyramid looks in the front view so we have placed the object on hp with one of the side ab the base head ab perpendicular to vp we have done that now let us see how the section plane is cut in the solid it is cut by a section plane which is normal to both hp and vp both hp and vp so friends whenever a section plane is perpendicular to both hp and vp it is seen as a line both in the top view and front view and this section plane is to pass through the vertex or uh, apex of the vertex of the solid o dash so friends we are going to write the section plane yes yes say it is passing through the vertex i call it as yes 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 it is cutting or it is seen as a line both in the top view and front view so this is the section plane so yes yes is here the section plane which is cutting both or uh, which is uh, perpendicular to both hp and vp so this is how the section plane is placed friends this section plane yes yes is passing through the vertex and it is cutting the base edges at this point how to know where exactly it is cutting it is cutting ac here and also this bc same line continue you have got a point here friends remember what are the measurements you have got here either this distance or this distance they are all the true measurement actual measurement now friends let us keep it says draw the development of the lateral surface of the pyramid so after this is being cut we have to retain one of the parts let us say we are going to retain this right side part because it is not specifically mentioned which one you should retain so we call this part as part p which you are going to develop further friends 
Similarly here, you have got only this portion of the solid which is going to be developed. So you got the print view on top view. Friends, let us draw the development of this pyramid. Assuming it is not cut by any section plane, obviously you will have three rectangles. One, two and three. So friends here, I will mark a point O. I have vertical line or any line at an angle and of length is equal to O dash C dash. This length is the true length because OC is parallel to VP. So this will give you true length. So I have taken the true length. So with O dash as center, true length as radius, I am going to draw an arc. So this arc, O center, true length distance radius, an arc I have drawn. Now friends, on this you have to step up 3 distances, 30 each. Say so this is 30 and this is 30. Again this distance is 30. So we will join all this by straight line because the base edges are straight for all the pyramids. So this we will join. Again we will join this also. And all these to the vertex will join. Friends, this is how the development looks without the object is being cut by section plane. Now friends, we are going to retain this part of the pyramid for drawing the development. Otherwise, and this, this part which is away from the section plane, this portion is removed. When you remove this portion, we are removing the slant edge OA and slant edge OB. So we have to commence the development here, either from A or B. So I am commencing from A. This is going to be B. This is C. And again this is A. And all this arc length are 30 mm each. The length we are drawn here, measure 30 mm each. Now friends, let us transfer the points where the section plane is cutting the solid to the corresponding development. So the section plane is passing through O dash. So O dash is the vertex. So this is one of the points through which the section plane is passing. It is not cutting any of the slant edges OA, OB or OC. But it is cutting the base edges AC and BC at a distance of so much from A, so much. These two distances will be same. So on AC in the development, take this distance and mark on AC. AC near to A. So I have taken this distance. Similarly, on BC, take the same distance. Near to B, you have to mark BC near to B. Suppose say this is the point you have got. You have got? A, B, C. Friends, O, A and O, B are removed. And totally you got three points. Two on the base edge. One through the vertex. So we'll call them as O coinciding one. This is two. And this point is three. So we'll join this. One to two. Two to three like this. So we'll join one to two. By a straight line and then 1 to 3 by another straight line and friends the portion outside this point that is from here to here to A is removed and from here to here B is also removed. So these edges OA and OB are removed, OA removed, it will not be there in the development, OB removed, when OB is removed this does not exist, when OA is removed this line does not exist. But the slanted O dash C dash is to be retained. So I will show by a dark line O dash C dash. Then the portion, this is, if you call as, this is 1 and this is 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3 are here. And friends, this is totally removed and this portion is retained. So only this portion, 1, 3, C, 2, 1. It will give you the development of 
development of P, the portions retained for the purpose of development and you will not have this A to B because both A and B are good. So friends, this is how we obtain the development of the lateral surface of a triangular pyramid which is cut by a section plane which is normal to both HP and e, VP. Friends, if you are happy with the presentation on this triangular pyramid, do share the information with all your friends and have a wonderful day.